All right, guys, how's it going? Well, I just got back from the cafe. I went there on a mission for you guys. No, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, no, you didn't. You went for some bacon. I didn't. I didn't. I had scrambled egg and scrambled egg only. If you don't believe me, go look at my Instagram or my ex account at Duncan Oldham. You'll see I only had eggs, four eggs uh, to make up my me, uh, me scrambled egg and, and three coffees. Okay, so thanks to you guys that do buy me a coffee because today I put that to good use. But I went to the cafe because I wanted to see uh, the Spanish daily football newspapers to see what they're saying in the print version because print's different to online and um, And that applies in England as well, obviously, but you know, anyway, so in Spain It can be a little bit different in the print version And what happens is in the morning you've obviously got all the workmen in the all go in for the breakfast and that They take the newspapers blah blah blah. Anyway, I went and bought them for you regardless uh, You'll have seen these you'll have heard of these publications before I'm sure uh, Had a little mooch around for you just as a, a matter of interest, just if you're interested, those three newspapers cost me, I don't know, about three pound for, you know, about a pound each or something like that. It's, um, it's amazing, isn't it, that, you know, football is obviously massive in England, yet there isn't a daily newspaper just for the football. Strange, isn't it, yet in Spain you've got three. So, anyway, let's have a look. I've got some bits and pieces uh, that I want to talk to you about about Thubamende. Now, my Spanish friends, they said to me, you pronounce it Thubamende, right? Thubamende, there you go. That's them saying it, not me. Uh, if you've got a problem with it, take it up with them, right? Uh, I don't think there was anything in there uh, to do with it. So, see, it's just like, I want to tell you what's going on. It's an important video. I think you should watch it, all right? Because there is a couple of things I want you to consider. So, uh, obviously I can't remember everything, so I, I've had to make some notes for you. So, <clears throat> here, I don't know if you will see this, you can see there, look. Aquí, en español, aquí, okay? Uh, right, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what I've got. What are you fucking boy in here, guys? All right, let's have a look. Uh, you see, we'll get this sort of your channel, you know. <clears throat> let's have a look. Right, uh, okay. So, Thubamende, Liverpool's main target, uh, principal objective, basically, primary target, they're saying. Uh, and they say in this, in this first edition here, sorry, in this, the first one that we're looking at, um, that Liverpool have forgotten about Cuba, right? But they continue to pursue players from Real Sociedad. Basically, we've set our sights on Thubamende. Thubamende. Um, Anna Slot has given the green light, it says here. Anna Slot uh, has said that he wants to, uh, he wants his people, Richard Hughes, to, to pay um, whatever is necessary to sign this player. Well, it doesn't say whatever is necessary. It says the 60 million uh, clause, and that's in euros, okay, without negotiating with Real Sociedad. It says that Thubamende has always followed the Premier League uh, with passion, and has never hidden that one day he would like to try his luck in the Premier League. Uh, Barcelona and Arsenal have tested the waters for uh, his signing in recent times, but they did not manage to conv convince him, uh, the player. We, we kind of know that already, right? So he's very, very loyal uh, to his club. So that was kind of like their first, the first one, right? Uh, Right, let's move on. This, the next one's a little bit more interesting, I think. So we've got this one here, okay? Now, just if you're wondering, like, it's not like on the front pages or anything like that. The papers here, the, the football here, you know, you'll open them and they'll start, this one will start with Real Madrid. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's, let's start the, uh, well, it's got the Olympics, a lot of it's the Olympics as well, actually. Uh, but this paper starts with, there it is. I'm saying starts, this is like a supplement at the beginning to do with Olympics. Real Madrid, so you open it up, right? It's all Real Madrid, Real Madrid. Then Barcelona. Uh, this one, obviously, is going to be Barcelona. Uh, look, first page, Barca. And then what happens is the further as you go into each publication, you get onto the other clubs like Real Sociedad, you know what I mean? Because... Like, like out here, it's Real Madrid or Barcelona. That's it. Even in, I live in the Valencia region, so the man here is the Liga Club's Valencia. But people here, you ask them and they'll say, oh, I support Real, Real Madrid. Everyone's Real Madrid around here. 
So we've touched on that, and now we're going to touch on this. Now, you know, I don't think you need to be, uh, you know, a, a brain surgeon to look at that. Serio means serious, you know, the Liverpool. Let's have a look. Um, and it talks about the Premier League being the big danger for Real Sociedad. Liverpool is serious about Fuba Mende. Uh, the Reds are considering, are considering negotiating with Real Sociedad for his signing. Uh, previously, the player uh, and his club have rejected several offers. Um, but it seems that his continuity at the club is once again in jeopardy. In other words, it's up for debate. You know, there's a possibility he could be taken. And, th and this publication goes on to say that uh, Liverpool, who were once interested in signing a Cubo, uh, might now uh, be considering the signing of Martin Thubamende, whose clause is 60 million euros uh, and does not seem to be, you know, open for negotiation. And they quote other players that Real Sociedad, you know, would you know, have or would uh, would be willing to negotiate, like Marino. Um, so they're they're basically saying in this article that um, because the player has always rejected every advance um, and because uh, Real Sociedad are not willing to negotiate, um, they're saying that this uh, complicates his departure, basically. Uh, and he said he's insisted on several occasions uh, that he is happy in San Sebastian. He's been linked for some time with major European clubs and the club president uh, once stated uh, that several clubs, uh, you know, were willing to pay to pay the full amount to to, to release him, uh, but the player had always wanted to continue at Real Sociedad. So that's the the club president, if you like, saying, "Look, you know, other clubs have been willing to pay it before, but each time he's always opted to stay here." Uh, he stood out. Uh, it says here the number four uh, of Real Sociedad uh, stood out. Uh, again, a few weeks ago, uh, obviously at the Euros, uh, and he would, he's not on the list of possible departures. Like Real Sociedad were not planning for his departure, like some of the other players, like Cuba, Marino. Uh, now, it says here that the Times, now that would be Paul Joyce, had contacted this Spanish publication to try and learn to discover the contractual and sentimental situation of Thubamende. In other words, they contacted this newspaper um, and, you know, whoever it was at the time, well, it was, you know, it's Paul Joyce, it's got to be right. Uh, the, the, the Times, it doesn't mention him, it just says the Times contacted them, uh, journalists there, to, you know, to indicate, you know, what is the contractual situation and the sentimental situation as well. Like, you know, do you think Liverpool could do this? And, you know, and then if these journals, like, respond to the English media and say, uh, you know, first of all, they're going to tell him what they know about the contract uh, situation. Then they're going to say, like, you know, some of these journals will know the players, right? And say, well, yeah, he's always rejected everyone, but, you know, he might be willing to listen to, to offers from Liverpool. Or do you remember yesterday what I told you? Um, the, the player uh, thought it was a very, was it a very attractive proposal from Liverpool? I can't remember. You'd have to watch the video. I don't like uh, saying things, like misquoting even myself, but... Um, so then that's how you get the journalists in England go, you know, sources in, you know, at Real Sociedad. You know, we've seen David Ormstein say that last night, sources at Real Sociedad. Might not actually be Real Sociedad, might just be a counterpart in the Spanish press. They help each other, right? So I don't know, I find that interesting that it's actually included that the Times uh, had contacted them to uh, find out about the contract and sentiment. And then it goes on to say that the Times finally published, uh, we know that was Paul Joyce, uh, that Liverpool were considering making a move for his signing. Now, Real Sociedad already knew for some time uh, about the dangers of losing him to the Premier League, and it could come this summer. Uh, you would assume that, you know, because of the Euros, uh, especially. But uh, there's also uh, the, the possible uh, departure of Moreno to Arsenal, which is um, which is adding to, compl to complications a little. I'll explain to you a little bit more about that. Uh, in a minute, uh, please bear with me. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff here. Uh, the Premier League is the big danger because of the interest of Arsenal for Moreno, uh, the interest of Liverpool in Thuba Mendy, uh, Cubo, and also Ramiro. Uh, 
this is multiple players at Real Sociedad. You know, they've got like three or four players attracting interest from the Premier League. Uh, and basically, Real Sociedad can't sell all their players and the fans are going to go mental. So Liverpool, in my opinion, and this is based on, you know, from speaking to uh, some of the lads uh, in the shop, now uh, in the cafe, now speaking to the lads in the shop is no different to me and you speaking online. Doesn't mean they're experts. They Spanish football, uh, follow Spanish football closer than I do and you do probably. And they were saying, like, it'd be like us, you know, like if someone came in for two midfielders at Liverpool, you know, it's going to be like, well, the can't sell both, right? So it's probably going to be in the interest uh, of Liverpool to, 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 to get a move on with this because if, if let's say Real Sociedad sell one player, they're, they're then financially stronger, right? So they're then ups the ante in terms of negotiating. Uh, bear with me, please. Uh, Someone left a comment earlier today and said, uh, get on with it in your video. Like, and I just want to make something perfectly clear. If you're a first time viewer around here, casual viewer ever, or whatever, I are here to appease you. These videos are made for people that want to watch my videos and don't care how long they are. Do you know what I mean? Someone else criticized me for having that fucking twirl. Yesterday was having a cup of tea. Do you remember me having that twirl yesterday? He said, have some manners. I said, here's some manners for you. Go fuck yourself. I'll do what I want on my own channel, right? So, okay. Uh, um, uh, Let's try this one here. I don't really want to keep you waiting too long. Uh, so, like, you know, like, Arsenal are trying to get uh, Mikel Moreno, uh, midfielder. Uh, Liverpool are sniffing around, uh, obviously, this could. And then you've got Cuba, and then you've got the goalkeeper. I think it's what I'm trying to say is from speaking to the guys like they were like yeah he's, first of all right they think he's fucking brilliant they think he's brilliant uh, and they're surprised that Real Sociedad have been able to hold on to him for so long because but he's a very loyal player right so if, if you're seeing things I think in the first article I read to you it said something about would have to be persuaded and that and we also saw David Ornstein say this initially I think it was David Ornstein yeah, he did. He said it would be tricky uh, because he's rejected everyone and would have to be persuaded. And the natural you know, response from us as Liverpool supporters is, we ain't persuading no one. You better want to come and play for Liverpool. But that's not really what they're saying. What they're saying is he's not just going to go and sign for any club. So if Liverpool sign him, this isn't just the addition of a good player, a very good player. This is the addition of a good person or as Brendan Rodgers would say, someone with great character. You know what I'm saying? All right. And that's what you want, right? Do you think? Someone that's been loyal, not just jump for the, the money in the Premier League. Arsenal, whether you think Arsenal are a great club or not, you know, they're a big Premier League side. He stayed loyal to his club. There is, of course, the danger that he could continue to stay loyal to his, uh, his club. Um, but we shall see. So, uh, I don't know if I've done a very good job explaining this. Okay, I do apologise. The video is 30 minutes long. Someone will be, do you know what? I get really fucking angry when they say speed it up to me. I'll, I'll do what I fucking want on my channel, mate. I'll do what I want. They think they think they can come in here and tell people what to do just so that you can, you know, uh, meet their expectations. Of what they want. I'm having that, guys. No, I want my peoples round here that are like, oh, don't someone will be here for another half an hour. Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine if I came on here, scripted this for three minutes, right? It'd be fake, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I know I waffle on, but I'm fucking passionate. You know, maybe there's bits and pieces. And I don't want to write a script down and read off a fucking, you know, hymn sheet to you guys. Nah, fuck that. This is how it is around here. If you're new around these parts, you're very welcome to stay. But don't come here telling me what I can and can't fucking do on my own channel. So, with that, I think I'll sign off. Is that all right? What do you reckon? Uh, what can we take from this? What can we take from this? Right, the Spanish media. Uh, the Spanish media say that Liverpool have made him a, a primary target. He is a primary target. It's all very well, you know, the people in, in uh, the British media or the online media or whatever saying Liverpool have made him a primary. The Spanish media are saying this, and I think that's good. That's interesting. They're not playing it down. Liverpool are serious. Liverpool are willing to pay the full price, which is not what we often hear about Liverpool. Uh, but there is some caution to add here. O other than the obvious, you know, he's got to be you know, dragged away from that club, right? We already know this. Uh, th there's the obvious caution here that, you know, if, if, if clubs start picking off players away from Real Sociedad uh, before Liverpool, they, they, they could turn around and say, hey, well, they can't really stop it happening if, if, the, if the payment is met. 
if the release is met. I could explain to you a little bit more about uh, the differences in in clauses in contracts, which basically do mean a release clause or buyout clause or whatever, that are slightly different. Uh, and in in, Sp in Spain, there are there are very strong laws for you know like it's very difficult to sack someone in Spain, uh, which is why a lot of people don't like to give out contracts. Um, and, it, and the same applies to footballers. So you can buy yourself out of a contract. Do you know what I mean? So Liverpool, for example, you know like wouldn't necessarily pay a club, you know, a, a Spanish club. They might pay the player. Uh, or the agent who would then pay the club. Do you know what I mean? We don't want to go into that. I don't think we need to go into that. Uh, but I do understand uh, how it works. Uh, so we, we, we've learned all of that. We've learned that the Times newspaper, the Times newspaper, you know, the ones that lead us to believe that they know everything that's going on. And don't forget, they make it sound like, don't they, that, you know, everything's coming from Anfield and all that could explain a few things. Uh, the Times newspaper contacted them and said, hey, can you tell us a little bit about his contract, you know, and the sentimental situation? That means that you know, Edwards or Hughes isn't necessarily on the phone all the time. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I find that a bit interesting. So. Is that all right? Listen, every morning I give a shout out to people that buy me a coffee. All right. Or a beer or whatever. Just so happened to be a coffee today. I wouldn't be able to, you know, go and do little things like this if it wasn't for the people that support my channel. So please, when I give them a little, you know, a little nod in the morning, just understand that they, they make it all possible. Okay? Right. So, uh, I'm going to uh, to sign off. Uh, hey, my chick's coming back next Tuesday. Jimmy's just gone. Absolutely, I said, hey, it's going to be you know, busy. I can't be uh, swanning around next week. So uh, I assure you that my uh, my time with you guys will not be interrupted uh, next week. So she knows that anyway. In, in fairness to her on a, on a visit last week or whenever it was, um, she did say, no, you need to you know continue as normal. Like So I will be here as normal uh, from Tuesday, all right? So ah, she must be keen. So I get some more aspirin in. Now, yeah, thanks to you guys for supporting me. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? It's, it's just you help me, I, and I appreciate that. Now, another way you can help me is by thumbsing up this video. That's right, you can thumbs up the video. You know, a lot of people just casually view and don't do that, but it'd be nice if you did, you know. Um, try my best for you. Um, what is that, Remy? Are you chewing something out there? Um, please leave me a comment on any of that, what you find in there. I think that we need to think about this uh, acting swiftly here. Because, you know, I ain't seen any of the British press uh, or these so-called big guns or whatever saying Liverpool might need to act fast because if Real Sociedad sell up these players to the Premier League or whatever, they might be reluctant to do business. Although I guess if you meet the money, then there's nothing they can do about it. But that player is not going to want to shit on his club. He ain't going to want to do that. Uh, yes, we've been told that the club will not stand in his way. Uh, but at the same time, they're not just going to let him go for 20 million. So that's just ridiculous why journalists would say that. Right, they're going to make sure they get what they want. They're going to be respectful to each other, and I like that. I like that. I really do. Uh, so we will wait and see. So drop me a comment about it all. Thumbs up the video if you appreciate my efforts, uh, and if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks button, the love heart under the video, and I will give you a shout out in tomorrow morning's briefing. To be honest with you, uh, unless something significantly changes today, I will go and uh, repeat my uh, my little mission tomorrow morning as well. Because it's important to keep an eye on these. Uh, I think we've learned more there than we would have done just listening to uh, to our journals in the UK. But sometimes there'll be opinion pieces. There might be an opinion piece in, in, in one of these tomorrow. And uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it for you guys. Um, yeah, when, the, when this... Actually, one more thing I've just remembered. The guys that I was talking to, they were for the, 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 they're the guys that put the internet cables under the streets and all that, and they're all sat there in the luminous gear. They'll be fucking boring inside working in this weather. Uh, I probably got it right first time sat in this weather. Um, but they said, their, their opinion was, he's a great player, but the fans will be raging if, if Real Sociedad sell like three stars or something. Let me think how many players linked one. Was it four? Is it four players that have been sniffed around right now? So Liverpool will be aware of that, but I just want you to think that too. All right, guys, uh, I'm signing off. I will be live on here at 2 o'clock UK time this afternoon. 
and also seven o'clock this evening. I've no idea if anything else has happened while I've been out. Oh, did you hear that banging? Got my laptop, I'm ready to go. And we'll, uh, we'll do. do you know what? This laptop was bought for me, it's true, uh, by uh, a, a Cop Talk VIP member, a member of mine called uh, Vivek, uh, because I had a, what do you call it? A Chromebook. I opted for a Chromebook last, was it last year or something? <laughs> You, know, you want to get you'd rather have a MacBook, wouldn't you? Something that you can work on properly, but I couldn't afford it, so I went for a Chromebook. And I could have fuck do videos and stuff like that on the move. Uh, and Vivek, he, he, he flew from Texas to New York last year, New York City, and we spent the afternoon together in my favourite bar in the world called the Perfect Pint, just off Times Square, an Irish bar. Go there if you ever go to New York City, it's just off Times Square, the Perfect Pint, beautiful Magnus. He didn't drink, I did, obviously. And, and he brought this MacBook, brand new MacBook, sealed from Apple with upgraded memory and everything. And he said, this is for everything you do for us with, uh, with the Cop Talk community. Uh, and and he, also, he also gave me a, a little donation as well to the course. So lovely man, really nice guy. If you ever see him in the comments, he's, he's called Vivek. Uh, and uh, obviously he's on the members website. And I hope he gets to see this video because there's a lot of things I couldn't do if it worked for Vivek. When I go to England now, I take this with me and I can make my videos and stuff. You know what I mean? So I just want to give a, a shout out to Vivek there. Top man. All right, guys. Cheers. Speak to you in a bit. All right.